We've been saying that for years. This is not an opinion issue. This is the facts. Jim Waddell is a retired engineer with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. He's been an outspoken critic of the Snake River Dam, saying they're a significant block to salmon recovery. And now another federal worker is joining him. Well, we're doing some studies, you know, and they're just basically putting money out, saying money, money will do it. Well, money's not doing it. Chris Penny is a retired fisheries biologist who worked with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers for nearly three decades. His job was to help fish survive the lower four Snake River dams. A federal judge forced the government to make improvements to protect endangered salmon. But Penny says his research showed the improvements would continue to fall short. No, there were little incremental increases that weren't going to get us there. Penny is now helping orca advocates as they make an emergency effort to save the starving southern resident killer whales who depend on Columbia River salmon for survival. Those who want to keep the dams question whether removal will bring back the fish. They point to polluted water and other habitat issues. Farmers also use the river to transport crops like wheat. But these former federal workers say the government hasn't done enough to consider removing the dams and just keeps making excuses, especially by spending more money on studies they've already done. And now we're seeing that that billion dollars basically got us nothing. In Seattle, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.